Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bronco Garage and today I'm going to show you how to do the track bar axle bolt repair. So I've got this big Bronco behind me and it has a problem. That's right, the track bar bolt is wobbling really loose inside the mount on the axle and it's causing death wobble and bump steer. So we are going to show you today how to get that fixed by using the track bar bolt repair kit by James Duff. You're probably wondering when should I do this repair? Well that's the number one question and the best time to do this other than the obvious when there's a problem and you feel it while you're driving is to do it while you're putting in your new lift system especially the one from James Duff because hey, you get the lift system and you get the repair kit all at once. You can also get the reamer with the repair kit so that way you've got that tool while you're doing the job. Now the other time that you can be doing this is when you're gonna be updating or refreshing all of your bushings on the front end. Hey, if we're trying to get rid of death wobble and we're trying to get, a, get rid of bump steer, then you're gonna to wanna to get rid of all of those little nasty things that cause it. And of course, this is gonna be one of them. So when I'm removing the drag link or tie rod, I prefer to thread the nut back on so it's flush with the end of the bolt threads, and then I smack it square with a medium-sized brass hammer. Go ahead and secure the drag link out of harm's way. I like to use a bungee cord wrapped around the frame so it doesn't fall on my face. If you use a vehicle lift like I am, you're going to want to place the jack stands under the axle to secure it while drilling so the Bronco doesn't move around on the lift. Go ahead and remove the cotter pin from the track bar bolt. You're gonna to wanna to remove the castle nut from the track bar bolt as well. Once the axle side of the track bar is loose, you're gonna to wanna to carefully let it drop and set it aside so you don't beat up the powder coat. Make sure you remove the two bolts that attach the passenger side brake line bracket to the back side of the axle, then carefully push the brake line bracket out of the way just enough to remove the track bar axle bolt. You'll need to use generous amounts of cutting oil frequently. WD-40 may work, but I like to use a dark brown cutting oil sold at Home Depot or Northern Tool. Notice there's a groove on the outside of the split bushing on the large end. That groove must be flush with the hole. The track bar mount has a circular indentation mark on it that makes a perfect outline for how much material must be removed with the reamer. This outline also works as a guide as you ream the hole. Watch carefully and make sure the hole you're reaming stays centered in the outline around it. Be sure to check the hole depth frequently as you drill by placing the split bushing inside of it. Make sure the hole and split bushing is free of debris before test fitting. Place the drill on a slow speed setting. Gradually increase the drill speed while pushing the reamer into the hole. As the reamer starts cutting, you'll want to add more cutting oil. If you have a helper, this process can go quicker because they can add the oil as you ream the hole. Be sure to not let the reamer chatter as this will hurt the reamer and the hole will not ream out properly. I would still recommend taking a break every couple minutes and clean the drill shavings out of each flute on the reamer with compressed air or a rag. Cleaning and oiling the hole and the reamer every couple minutes of drilling is equally important to drilling the hole straight and not letting the reamer chatter. Okay, so full disclosure here, we have sped this up to keep the video short, but this is gonna take quite a bit of time. It's not easy and you'll also want probably a spare battery charging for your drill and go slow. Okay, so that's a wrap. And remember, this axle is very popular for the 80 to 96 full-size Bronco solid axle swap. So if you're gonna be doing one of those, you definitely wanna pick up one of these track bar bolt repair kits for that axle as well. If you like the James Duff adjustable track bar that they offer for 78 to 96 Broncos, that's another great time to pick up the track bar bolt repair kit. 
Don't forget, they've also got a heavy duty end if you like to go out wheeling or you like to put a lot of miles on your truck. Hey, thanks for watching. Definitely subscribe. We've got a lot of great videos coming up, especially for these big Broncos and the full-size Broncos. We'll catch you guys soon.